Hey Sarah, this may look like a scene straight out of Jurassic Park, but actually it's part of an amazing new arena show called Walking with Dinosaurs, The Live Experience. And trust me, this new show is definitely no Hollywood fantasy. These mean, sometimes green, king-size eating machines have kept moviegoers on the edge of their seats for years. But other than movies and museums, this is about as close as anyone has ever gotten to experience what dinosaurs were like back in the prehistoric day. That is, until now. This life-size T-Rex may look like the real thing, but he's actually a giant high-tech puppet. He's just one of the animatronic wonders you'll see in the show, Walking with Dinosaurs. What you're seeing in this show is the culmination of about 15 years of television and film animatronic experience. I mean, a lot of the people who built these dinosaurs had worked on The Matrix, Superman, uh, shows like Farscape, all the Star Wars films, and they, they all came together. This amazing live production actually had its roots in TV, stemming from the popular BBC series about these prehistoric creatures. The BBC production, Walking with Dinosaurs, is the most successful documentary that's ever been made in terms of the profitability of it. And then the question came up, well, could you make a, a live experience of that? And what happened then was, uh, using their theatrical context, they, they put their little tentacles out and they started sourcing people to, to come up with ideas like, how do you bring something like uh, the documentary to a stage, or in this case an arena, and, and do it justice. The best technicians in Australia spent 13 months brainstorming and ultimately creating these lifelike creatures. Ten species of dinosaurs are represented, from a terrifying T-Rex to a Brachiosaurus that measures an incredible 36 feet tall and 56 feet long from nose to tail. And each dinosaur is a huge crowd pleaser. When you're looking at the audience and say the Brachiosaurus and these enormous heads are moving over and looking down and blinking, you can hear kids going, it's looking at me, it's looking at me. And with T-Rex coming out, I mean, I always remember we, when we were out here performing, the T-Rex, because you have to have a T-Rex in a dinosaur show, otherwise there's going to be a riot. So the T-Rex comes out and it does this enormous roar. And while these giant carnivores may be frighteningly lifelike, it's the kids who like them the most. I think the thing it's nice to see kids, I think there's something about kids that are, they're all like, pal, like mini little paleontologists. It's amazing how children know all the dinosaurs. I mean, I didn't know all the dinosaur names, I've like, completely forgotten. And it's great to see some seven year old boy go to his dad going, oh, look, that's the Ankylosaurus. And his dad going, Really? So it's, it's, good. Oh, yeah. it's not easy to make these amazing dinosaurs actually seem to come to life. It takes an entire crew of technicians and puppeteers behind the scenes to give these dinosaurs some dramatic bite. In the final scene, you might have nine people controlling animatronic dinosaurs and one guy in a 80 pound suit running through choreography and trying to work out how to make all that mesh, considering that all the dinosaurs have different you know, speeds that they move at, that they can move at, uh, different qualities in their performance. That, that took a while to actually mesh that together so that everyone was sort of on the same page. Making these giant dinosaurs come to life also requires talented puppeteers with a light, skillful touch on these remote controls. And you can see how fluid this arm is. And then again, that's replicated in the movement down there on the stage when the dinosaurs are down there. This controls the blinking the mouth and as you can see this is all the sounds of the dinosaur the sounds that you hear the dinosaurs the runs the, the grunts the roars um, it's not a random collection of things it's actually more like a sort of a, a grunt and raw musical score a score that's part of an intricate production that transports its audience back in time like none other i always say that it, when an audience comes to see this unless they know someone who can build a fully functional time machine this is as close as you'll get to seeing a real dinosaur wandering around and roaring basically at you or roaring at other dinosaurs. Uh, and I think that sort of visceral experience is something that, you know, a movie or a TV show can get close to but can't quite get equal. Now this great new show is coming to all sorts of major cities across the United States, so keep an eye out for it. But you better be careful because you never know when one of these performing dinosaurs might decide to chew up the scenery. I'm Tim Estilos. Back to you, Sarah.